hi everyone can you see me guys if you guys can see me you can just reply so that i know that you guys can actually see me and can you guys hear me properly All right, great. So I think the connection is good. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Very good to see you guys. And today, hopefully, we can have a good session, productive session, where we can learn a lot of things. Specifically, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover prelims, uh, current affairs, specifically, like you can see on the screen. um this is going to be the main thing that i'm going to cover today because obviously we want to learn about prelims current affairs it's only 3 months to prelims so a lot of you who are appearing for prelims can use this particular video uh, and also those of you who are probably not appearing this will really help you next year if you are a college student it will help you in 2 3 years whenever you are actually planning to appear for prelims so um that's why i really recommend that all of you go ahead and uh, use this class as an easy way for you to understand how to actually go ahead and do current affairs i request all of you abhi jo join kar rahe log main sabko request karta hu i request you please don't ask me questions abhi ha hello kar do sab kar do but don't ask me questions right now kyunki abhi questions puchoge to fir bahut confusing ho jayega uh, main aapke questions 15 20 minute ke baad answer karunga abhi 15 minute mein main pura session khatam kar dunga और उसके बाद वी कैन गो हेड इनटू द क्वेश्चंस ऑल राइट सो डोंट आस्क मी क्वेश्चंस आई रियली रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर जॉइनिंग हेलो टू एवरीवन आई होप यू आर डूइंग ऑल वेल अगर आपकी स्क्रीन ब्लर्ड है तो व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन पुट इट ऑन हायर रेजोल्यूशन आपका जो है हायर रेजोल्यूशन में नहीं आ रहा होगा इसलिए आप हायर रेजोल्यूशन में डाल दोगे तो वो आपका स्क्रीन 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 ब्लरिंग जो है वो खत्म हो जाएगा बिकॉज आई एम यूजिंग द हाइस्ट रेजोल्यूशन हेयर पॉसिबल ठीक है सो गुड इवनिंग प्रणाम टू एवरी वन हेलो टू एवरी वन लाइक यू कैन सी दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन हाउ टू स्टडी करंट अफेयर्स और प्रिलिम्स प्रिलिम्स के लिए करंट अफेयर्स कैसे पढ़ना है दिस इज ऑल्सो पोस्टेड ऑन माई ब्लॉग विच इज मानो जिंदल डॉट इन सो यू कैन गो हेड एंड टेक ए लुक ओवर देयर बहुत सारे मैं मैं प्लान कर रहा हूँ कि मैं हर संडे को एक लाइव सेशन ले लूँगा ताकि आप सब लोगों के पास पहुँच के आई कैन हेल्प यू गाइज so um so that way we can cover a lot of things lot of questions uh, uh like that you know during uh, uh when we do our uh, live sessions kyunki live sessions mein kya hota hai bahut sare questions hum uh, definitely cover kar sakte hain theek hai so uh, okay i will be speaking in english i will be speaking in english but sometimes i will also switch a little bit in hindi because lot of students don't understand english properly lot of students don't understand hindi also properly there are our brothers and sisters from the south there are brothers and sisters from hindi speaking belt there are brothers and sisters our friends aspirants from northeast to har jagah se aate hain log kisi ko koi bhasha nahi shuru hoti to main switch karke bolta rahunga i will keep switching wherever you don't understand meko hint de do there i will try to explain to you because i'm continuously looking at the chat also jai hind uh, good evening odia mein i don't know odia so how can i speak in odia so okay we will start the session and the session is going to be how to study current affairs for prelims the first thing that you should know about studying current affairs for any exam let it be upsc let it be any exam is going to be that you should know how to cover the static portion first you must cover the static portion the concepts of those particular subjects wo concepts apne clear kar lo otherwise you cannot go to the current affairs you can only go to current affairs if you have already finished your static portion or your concepts that are given in the syllabus i will give you an example so let's say you are studying economics current affair and in that economics current affair it has been asked the current affairs is telling you about some kind of a increase in bond rates or it is telling you about yield rates or it is telling you about inflation rates that is there in the economy right now consumer price inflation wholesale price inflation how will you understand this economics current affairs article if you don't actually know the basics of inflation 
so my request to all of you is to first go ahead and understand the static portion before you go ahead and jump into the current affairs first study three four basic uh, the uh, the static portion of that particular subject let's say you are doing economics so first go ahead and read the ncrt read the main books of economics that i have already suggested after reading them then come to then you know that you have some understanding of economics similarly if you have studying polity so finish your lakshmikanth or at least do some part of the lakshmikanth and parallelly study the newspaper if you just go into the current affairs without knowing the static portion then there is no way that you can understand that particular current affairs also so static portion must be clear if you are trying to understand any kind of current affairs because one of my students was asking me that sir i am not able to understand in economics various terms like inflation interest rates etc etc and the reason for that was because she had not studied the economics portion from the ncrt from the basic books that i recommend so that's why first study the static portion also side by side see the current affairs mein mat guso because kuch bhi understand nahi hoga kuch bhi samajh mein nahi aayega now that being said i am going to tell you four main things in this session today number one is going to be sources current affairs ke liye kya kya sources use kar sakte ho aap i will also tell you how to use these sources okay then i will tell you number three thing how to make notes whether to make notes or not इसका शॉर्ट आंसर है नो करंट अफेयर्स के नोट्स डेफिनेटली मत बनाओ उसका रीजन भी मैं आपको दूंगा डेफिनेटली डोंट मेक एनी काइंड ऑफ करंट अफेयर नोट्स एंड देन हाउ टू सॉल्व एंड स्टडी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स ये भी मैं आपको थोड़ा सा आइडिया दूंगा आज दिस ऑल्सो आई विल गिव यू सम आइडिया टूडे ऑल राइट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज देर आर फोर काइंड ऑफ सोर्सेज फॉर ऑल द प्रिलिम्स एग्जाम अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस फोर सोर्सेज यू डोंट नीड एनी इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस फोर सोर्सेज कुछ और भी नहीं पढ़ोगे तो फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा बट हाउ टू स्टडी दिस सोर्सेज आई विल ऑल्सो टेल यू वन यू नीड वन न्यूज पेपर वाई डू यू नीड द न्यूज पेपर बिकॉज न्यूज पेपर इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट ए फील ऑफ वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द वर्ल्ड अराउंड यू यू डोंट नीड टू स्टडी थिंग्स लाइक पोलिटिकल न्यूज लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल राइट नाउ देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिबेट गोइंग ऑन अबाउट द ड्रेस कोड इन कॉलेज इन कर्नाटका यू डोंट नीड टू स्टडी दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग बिकॉज that will not really come in the exam from a political angle it might come into the exam from a constitutional angle how the supreme court is thinking about this issue but right now most of you know that supreme court has not really made any comment on this particular issue or has not made any judgment on this issue so unless that judgment comes out i don't think a question will appear in upsc about this kind of thing but what you can do is you can go ahead and look into the constitution and the main articles of the constitution about freedom of speech etc etc to understand what is the constitutional perspective basic constitutional perspective and if there are any cases in the supreme court or the high court that have happened before so from the upsc perspective political news are not important what is important is your constitutional understanding of that your theoretical understanding of that your conceptual understanding of that so in cheezon pe aapko focus karna hai you don't need to focus on the actual political news so for example i will give you example of some sports tournament is going on upsc is not going to really ask you about specifics ki which player won how many points he won by these kind of questions are normally asked in state pcs what upsc is going to ask you is upsc will mostly focus on any important super important tournaments that are going on out there so that is what you need to read about in the newspaper so if you understand how to read the newspaper almost 30 40% of the newspaper even does not need to be read okay so that is first thing pick up one newspaper the hindu or the indian express read from that stick to one newspaper don't try to change it too much if you become bored of one newspaper you can change it a little bit to freshen up but you don't need more than one newspaper and the only job of newspaper is kaha se question directly aapko zaruri nahi hai aayenge you will not be able to solve direct questions in upsc from just reading newspaper what newspaper will help you is wo ek hi tarah ki help karega ki aapko a well informed individual banayega aur aapko well informed individual hi banna hai upsc ke liye that is the requirement of upsc all right so that's what i always tell candidates aspirants that don't read newspaper thinking wahan se questions aayenge wahan se questions nahi aate newspaper se newspaper se kya hota hai upsc will pick up a particular topic उस पर यूपीएससी रिसर्च करके क्वेश्चन बनाएगा कुछ यूपीएससी एग्जामिनर विल मेक सम काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच नेसेसरली यू विल नॉट फाइंड इन द न्यूज़पेपर सो न्यूज़पेपर्स ओनली जॉब इज टू मेक यू वेल इन्फॉर्म्ड 
so it is important to read the newspaper if you are someone who is not never read current affairs never read about the world as such and that's why every topper recommends reading the newspaper the second thing is vision ias monthly magazine or and uh, gk today monthly current affairs personally i used two monthly current affairs one was vision and <coughs> excuse me one was gk today the reason i use these two is because vision i feel is more comprehensive from a mains perspective if you i will show you today visions magazine you will see it is more mains perspective type of a magazine and gk today is more focused on facts factoids it is more focused on information as such so that's why i used to like to study both of them so that my comprehensive preparation was there uh so i would suggest dono aap kar sakte ho gk today unfortunately is a paid one but it's very cheap so only 100 rupees for a month or something like that so it's very cheap you can get that now remember uh maine ye use kari thi aapke liye ho sakta hai insights aapko achhi lagti ho maybe you like insights maybe uh, you like some other kind of a magazine so you can go for that also but i would say these are the top class these are the best when it comes to the quality so uh, you can go for them all right then the next thing that i would tell you is google use karna chahiye aapko bahut zyada to google kaise use karna chahiye current affairs padhne ke liye main abhi batata hu aapko so <coughs> recently you have seen i will give you an example ukraine and russia crisis is there aapne suna hoga ukraine aur russia mein russia is planning to attack ukraine and there is this entire huge uh, talk about maybe a war happening in this region of the world do you think upsc will ask you a question on anything related to russia like who is the president of russia ukraine who are the political leaders in ukraine they will not ask you these kind of questions they will not ask you any details of this particular what is happening in ukraine right now what they might ask you is geographical things related to ukraine for example here you can see the map of this is the political map of ukraine now here you can see there is an area which is controlled by russia crimea and it is here all right i will try to mark it up but i don't know how to mark it up so just leave it so here you can see this is the crimea region this is occupied by russia you can see here controlled by russia this area is controlled by russia okay now they might ask you which are the seas that are bounding russia uh, ukraine and russia so here if you look at this map you will see black sea this is located next to this is the main uh, point of contention because russia wants to get control of the black sea also um, wait i am going to go, yes here if you look at this map here look at this map on the right here you will see on the right the black sea you will see turkey you will see georgia you will see russia belarus so upsc might ask you a question like which of the following countries border ukraine then you should know that because you should know what kind of derivative things upsc upsc seedha seedha question nahi puchti abhi ukraine crisis chal raha hai to wo kya karega wo dhoondega ki bhai aas paas ke kya question puche ja sakte hain ek question pucha ja sakta hai ki what kind of oceans or seas are uh, touching ukraine what you know what are what are the countries that are bounding uh, that are on the boundary of ukraine it might ask you anything related to the mediterranean o o ocean also but is because the mediterranean ocean is located just below the black sea dekhiye ye wala map dekhiye is map mein aapko dikhega russia right mein dikh raha hai na isme aapko russia dikhega aur russia ke niche you will see sorry uh, i think i am coming the picture थोड़ा ऊपर मैं ट्राई कर लेट मी जस्ट ओपन इट इफ इट कैन ओपन वर्ड एटलस आई यूज टू ऑलवेज यूज माई पर्सनल एटलस सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द ब्लैक सी सी ऑफ एज ऑफ यहां पे अगर थोड़ा सा इसमें देखेंगे सी ऑफ एज ऑफ तो डेफिनेटली रेफर टू योर एटलस एंड ट्राई टू फिगर आउट द जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन ऑफ यूक्रेन ट्राई टू रिमेंबर द कंट्रीज अराउंड यूक्रेन ट्राई टू रिमेंबर वॉट आर द मेन सीज रीड अबाउट क्रीमिया क्रीमिया में क्या हुआ ये चीजें यूपीएससी पूछती है आपको नॉर्मली ट्राई टू फिगर आउट ए लिटल बिट अबाउट वॉट आर द जोग्राफी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार्फेथियन माउंटेन्स दीज आर ऑन द वेस्टर्न बाउंड्री ऑफ यूक्रेन सो जस्ट रीड अबाउट दैट ये कार्फेथियन माउंटेन्स है क्या 
इस तरह की जोग्राफी क्वेश्चन यूपीएससी यूक्रेन से बना सकती है जस्ट बिकॉज इट इन द न्यूज सो दैट इज हाउ यूपीएससी गोज फॉर करंट अफेयर्स एंड दैट इज हाउ यू शुड स्टडी फॉर करंट अफेयर्स तो फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि सोर्स क्या है इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट काइंड ऑफ सोर्स यूपीएससी इज यूजिंग वॉट यूपीएससी इज और वॉट काइंड ऑफ सोर्स यू आर यूजिंग you know you might be using some kind of other source you might be using completely different source but what matters is how you study that particular topic so that is how you have to think about upsc all right the next is thing is how to study the above sources like i said hindu indian express you can pick one source and remember like i said you are reading the newspaper for enhancing your reading skills and writing skills as well and to get familiar to increase your awareness all right एंड यूपीएससी में न्यूज पेपर विल नेवर बी अ डायरेक्ट सोर्स ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन यूपीएससी विल थ्रू न्यूज पेपर यू विल गेट ए हिंट ऑफ वॉट कुड बी पोटेंशियली आस्क इन द वॉट कुड बी पोटेंशियली आस्क इन द क्वेश्चन इन यूपीएससी बट इट विल नॉट बी द डायरेक्ट सोर्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन लाइक आई टोल्ड यू द यूक्रेन एग्जाम्पल डू यू रिमेंबर द यूक्रेन एग्जाम्पल वॉट डिड आई टेल यू टाइप मी इन द चैट एंड टेल मी वॉट आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द यूक्रेन एग्जाम्पल How will UPSC potentially make a question from the U Ukraine example? Give me that type in so that you remember, so that you I know that you understand. Okay. Like I said, Vision IS magazine and GK Today are the two primary sources, two primary sources for current affairs for UPSC. I recommend both of them because you need to have two particular sources, and I will also show you how to read. vision so today i'm going to show you how to read vision is see this is the um, this is the kind of the page of vision is where you can find all this current affairs the, the way they have done is if you just google vision is current affairs you will come to this page and on this page they have given mains 365 they have given pt 365 they have given monthly current affairs i only used to refer to one source that is monthly current affairs apart from that you don't need to study anything okay okay lot of questions lot of people are saying about ukraine that's good that means you are understanding geography questions mostly geography questions okay black sea mediterranean sea any kind of geographical features like carpathian mountains what are the countries that are surrounding so ye sab pad lena okay now here vision is current affairs these are the monthly current affairs this is the only current affairs you need to refer to apart from gk today For example, here I will go into the January monthly current affairs. So this is the January monthly current affairs. It is downloading. So just give me a second until it downloads. I think we can look at this one. All right. ये पूरा नीचे scroll हो गया. And I'm trying to go on the top. so this is the december 2021 current affair uh, <coughs> excuse me of vision and yahan pe niche jaoge to you will see in table of contents they have given polity and governance so subject wise they are dividing polity and governance i think here also i have it yeah here i will show you they have polity and governance they have international relations security environment so like this they have divided various topics as per upsc and they have given you the current affairs of that particular topic now how to read this i personally don't like the kind of language they use in vision is i think they use very difficult language for example i'll show you in science and technology they have a particular section on iot internet of things and i found that particular uh, and if any vision people are listening to me today i think this is the feedback i would like to give you also that yeah here so this is the internet of things for the first thing that the vision is does is they tell you about why news why is it in news you don't need to read that whatever is the reason for it being in news it is in news right first you need to read about 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 internet of things okay about internet of things what is internet of things now here they have given a different kind of a difficult definition 
Internet of Things it is a seamless connected network of embedded objects devices with identifiers in which machine to machine communication without any human intervention is possible using standard and interoperable communication protocols yes you can understanding by reading it but i don't think this needs to be that difficult you can simply say internet of things is a technology through which two um, devices can be connected through the internet and these devices can communicate with each other they can be operated seamlessly without intervention of humans so is tarah se seedha sada definition ko thoda sa complicated bana diya hai that's what i feel here so that's why i say always google my other advice to all the aspirants is always 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 go ahead and google anything you are studying try to google as much as possible because if you google anything properly if you learn how to google something properly you will really come to understand it because in upsc what matters is your understanding of that particular issue so here what i'm trying to tell you is you in upsc what you need to do is focus on understanding topics instead of just memorizing topics if you are just going to try to memorize iot it will very become, become very difficult for you to answer a question on iot so what i used to do was was i used to always go ahead and google thoda sa wikipedia page ka pad lo read something about that particular technology on the wikipedia page for example here internet of things what is internet internet uh, internet of things what are the applications because upsc normally asks you the applications of technology remember upsc asks you either about what the technology is or application of technology so they might ask you whether it can be used in agriculture whether it can be used in maritime manufacturing etc 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 all right so this is the kind of way you have to study about upsc or ye wikipedia page se pad raho thoda bahut if it is given on other pages on like for example i have come here on google so some videos are there simple videos from where you can understand on youtube you don't need to go to a upsc specific channel for that you can study that particular topic from anywhere to isme aise karke 20 minutes if you put into internet of things you will completely understand internet of things and then it will be easy for you to answer any question related to internet of things and you will not need to study it again ever all right so here um, yeah internet of things here so now they have told you why it is in news okay because a code of practice for securing consumer internet of things was given out by tec Te telecommunication engineering center so thoda uske bare mein pad lo because but this kind of news doesn't really come in upsc to pad lo but usko zyada uske upar pagal hone ki zarurat nahi hai you don't have to become too serious about it okay <laughs> how does it work significance challenges this is all mains related challenges you don't need to need for prelims so that's why i say you can skip this when you are revisioning for prelims when you are coming back and revising for prelims you don't need to read this and that's why i also recommend you gk today because gk today mein ye sab nahi hoga to aapko seedha seedha pata chal jayega internet of things ka koi news hai so you will be straight away be able to see some kind of basic thing you need to study about internet of things from gk today from a prelims perspective okay so here they have given it from a mains perspective more but i think you should go into the application of that particular technology where it can be used how it can be used uh, what are any new innovations that have come out in it that is the problem no coaching institute no current affairs magazine will be able to cover that this is the best i am showing you i feel this is the best i show you so gk today mein kya hai ki thoda sa mujhe ye lagta hai ki is tarah ki cheeze easily cover ho jati hain which you need to actually know all right gk today can be downloaded from their website it is very minimal cost 100 rupees ka shayad i am not personally uh, endorsing anyone but i use them so that's why i am recommending them okay honestly i am recommending them to you all right so learn the art of googling learn the art of how to google things and how to read from google find out the <coughs> reliable sources I don't suggest go for one source for everything. I suggest that there is an important topic like AI is an important topic, Internet of Things is an important topic. So for every topic, there is a definitive website where you can go and study. There is some kind of an institute that does research. So वहाँ से पढ़ लो, Wikipedia page पढ़ लो. So that will give you a good understanding. This is how self study happens. Self study is not about just sitting and revising and studying books. Self study is also about using technology, which is Google very well. in order to study well okay that's what i'm trying to teach you apart from that 
PYQs for PYQs I say print out the old books uh, sorry print out the old question papers look at the questions of the particular topic that you are studying let's say you are studying current affairs ka economics so try to look at the various questions from economics they have asked in the past few years so you will get an idea how to study that particular topic because questions will give you an idea ki kya puchte hain aur kis tarah se padha ja sakta hai so that way you should go about studying for prelims current affairs now i am going to show you certain examples all right okay i had downloaded the yojana magazine also and the reason i downloaded the yojana magazine was because i wanted to show you um let me just this is my blog you can go on my blog to study these things that i'm telling you about so i had downloaded yojana because i don't think yojana is needed for prelims yojana is just needed for mains exam because yojana covers a lot of it has a lot of good content and a lot of good writing that you can use to study for the essay also and for the mains answer writing also so here like this you can download this easily from online any website there are a lot of web. you can google once you will get it okay and if you don't download it you can buy it also from various book stores and you can study these kind of like they are coming with this articles about quality education what is nipun bharat mission how to bridge various education gaps so all these kind of questions you can study all these kind of topics you can study from um, yojana all right so like i showed you ukraine example i hope you understood that ukraine example is very important in understanding what to study for upsc similarly internet of things internet of things bhi aap isi tarah se padhna jaisa maine bataya aapko or various topics like this you have to study now let's say let's pick up another topic okay i will give you an example real example on let's say here there is a news about nairobi declaration yahan pe aapko dikh raha hoga ye news hai nairobi declaration ke bare mein so we will go to nairo uh, we will try to go to nairobi declaration well it didn't take me to nairobi declaration but we have to now study nairobi declaration so what i will do is i will go ahead and google nairobi declaration ek bar maine google kara to ye dekho down to earth mein ek there is a particular article do i want to read an article no first i want to read the concept all right so i will go ahead and read about the nairobi convention from wikipedia and here they are telling you what the nairobi convention is what kind of countries in which countries the nairobi convention applies to here they have given the parties you can look at the parties here comoros france kenya ab yahan se aapko ye geography bhi padhni padegi aapko thoda maps padhna padega to have a good understanding of this particular aur yahan pe ye padh loge to uske baad you can go back here you can get an understanding of united nations environmental program and then after that go back and study the current affair first understand the basic and then go ahead and read the current affair all right so here i have answered a lot of your questions that you had asked me what i'm going to do today now is i'm going to go ahead and <coughs> on my instagram also i'm posting a lot of these kind of things so you can follow my instagram also if you are there on it now a lot of students had asked me some questions maine ek poll kara tha today on my community channel and lot of students had asked me some questions about uh, about current affairs so i am going to answer those questions and i will also answer your questions whatever questions you have to abhi 10 15 20 minute ke liye hum questions ko answer karenge all right so the first question is how much current affairs needed when to start 1 to 1.5 years 2 years so the best is upsc needs current affairs of only maximum 1 and 1/2 years usse zyada padhne ki aapko zarurat nahi hai from the time the exam is usse pehle 1.5 saal just before that 1 and 1/2 years okay i will answer all your questions don't worry pehle main ye answer question bachcho ne pehle puche hain to unko answer kar deta hu then i will come to your questions also all right then the second thing is uh, about time to spend on daily newspaper plus monthly magazine how much time to spend on daily newspaper plus monthly magazine i would say not more than 1 and 1/2 hours for daily newspaper you should spend maximum 30 to 40 minutes and monthly magazine every day if you read for 40 minutes you should be able to finish the entire um entire uh, entire uh, months monthly magazine kyunki 100 page hote hain ek mahine in one month you have to read the 100 pages 150 pages so every day also if you read around 10 pages 
which you can do in 40 minutes, 50 minutes easily, maybe one hour. So maximum two hours you should give to current affairs, including newspaper, including monthly magazine. And remember, concepts are more important, so spend more time on static in concepts. Is PT365 necessary to read? No. Only monthly current affairs, if you read from Vision Eyes, is enough. PT365 is not needed. What are the difference? How to differentiate newspapers reading for mains and prelims? See, for that, I will tell you a very simple thing. There is no differentiation. The only differentiation is in prelims, they can ask you some conceptual questions and it's multiple choice. So, look at some of the old question papers and you will understand how they are framing prelims questions. For mains, what they will do is, for mains, mostly they will ask you um, more analytical questions where you have to write. So, there is not much of a difference except in prelims, you need to know more of the information. You know more of the um, kind of, you should know more of that concept properly so that you can figure out which is the wrong choice or the right choice. So, there is not much differentiation. Just read the old question papers of prelims and mains and just try to practice it that way. Only practice is differentiated. Okay. Note making and revising. I told you prelims for prelims or mains, current affairs notes don't make. It will be a huge mistake because PT3, this monthly magazine of vision, GK today, all are in note format. You just need to revise them when the exam is close by. Revising is super, super important. How to revise? See, I will tell you. Every week or every two weeks, try to revise what you have studied in that one week. Every night also try to recall quickly what you have learned today. That way you will be able to recall it uh, and remember it for a very long time to come. So I used to follow this strategy of revising where I used to revise every week and then every month I used to revise it by taking some old question paper also, by using doing some test series also, uh, by some coaching institute which I used to download from their uh, different websites. So that way I was able to revise a lot of things. All right. And then one of the questions asked me how to study 100 pages of current affairs. So, see, it is 100 pages for a month. So, I think that much you can do. 100 pages in a month means maximum 3 to 4 pages in a day. So, you should be able to study 3, 4 pages of just current affairs per day. I don't think that is a huge problem. <clears throat> How to manage between college exams and UPSC? Lot of your college students and you must be wondering how to manage college and UPSC. See, I will tell you one simple thing. Where there is a will, there is a way. There are people who have worked so hard, so hard without any facilities, without any kind of support and still have made it to the top. Look at APJ Abdul Kalam, look at B.R. Ambedkar. All these people had no support from anyone, but still they made it to the top. So don't worry, plan it out, take out time. When everyone is sleeping, you are waking up and studying. When everyone is sleeping at 6 a.m., you are waking up two hours before everyone and studying. Those two hours every day will make the difference. बस वो दो घंटे की बात है वो एक्स्ट्रा दो घंटे जो आप दोगे ना लाइफ में अभी अपने कॉलेज में एक साल अभी वो आपका डिफरेंस क्रिएट करेंगे सारा सो माय एडवाइस टू ऑल द यंग कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स इज दैट गिव आउट दोज एक्स्ट्रा टू थ्री आवर्स एवरी डे स्टडी डिलीजेंटली ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम एक बार बीस दिन के लिए पच्चीस दिन के लिए वो करा ना यू विल गेट इन द हैबिट ऑफ डूइंग दैट सो यू हैव द विल यू विल फाइंड द वे मैनेजिंग इज नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम you just need to figure it out. You have the time. All right. How to remember current affairs? Revise. Try to use recalling techniques like I have told you and use old question papers to relate with the PYQs. And try to do test series also. Like right now, only three months are left, right? So for these three months, you should be focusing a lot on test series, test series, test series. And you should be focusing on just revising a lot of concepts. Current affairs ki pe bhi focus karo, but kam focus karo. Static portion pe, Lakshmi Kant, static portion of polity, static portion of economy, static portion of geography, static portion of environment. Inko aap pura pura tarah se you just focus on them, you will easily get 110 marks. Because that's what we used to do. I also used to focus just on statics, little bit on current affairs and do used to do a lot of question papers and that way I was able to score good marks. You are afraid about IIM, IIT people, don't be afraid. Most of my batchmates, Large number is not from IIM, IIT. So don't worry about this prestigious, prestigious colleges. Newspaper before prelims. I don't think you need to study newspapers before prelims. You need to study newspaper only, um, only up to one or two months. Right now, like only three months are left for prelims. Maximum ek mahine aur padlo newspaper. Uske baad koi zarurat nahi padegi. You will not need the newspaper after that. 
ऑल राइट आंसर राइटिंग वगैरह आई विल टेल यू इन माई नेक्स्ट लाइव सेशन थ्री मंथस लेफ्ट हाउ टू यूज दैट दिस थ्री नाउ थ्री मंथस आर लेफ्ट फॉर प्रिलियम्स पीपल हु आर अपेयरिंग फॉर प्रिलियम्स नाउ आई वुड से डू अ लॉट ऑफ रीडिंग्स डू अ लॉट ऑफ मल्टीपल रीडिंग्स फोकस ऑन स्टैटिक लाइक आई टोल यू दैट वे यू विल बी एबल टू डू वेल एंड एड्रियन लिंग दो ही आस मी ए क्वेश्चन ऑन माई यूट्यूब कम्युनिटी चैनल ही आस मी ए वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एड्रियन यू आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक दैट इज हाउ यू शुड स्टडी फॉर यू पी एस सी डोंट ट्राई टू स्टडी स्ट्रेट अवे ट्राई टू स्टडी फ्रॉम द ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन द काइंड ऑफ डिराइव टॉपिक्स और द थिंग्स दैट यू पी एस सी कैन आस्क फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इट विल नेवर आस्क यू डायरेक्टली अबाउट द टॉपिक माइट वन और टू क्वेश्चन बट मोर 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 और लेस दे आस्क यू मोर अबाउट अदर कॉन्सेप्चुअल थिंग्स अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक ओके नाउ आई विल टेक ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू गाइज यू गाइज हैव बिन वेटिंग ए लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर मी माई फोन इज इन माई हैंड एंड आई विल सी ए लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन स्टार्ट ड्रिंग दिन उस पर राइट अवे देर इज नो पॉइंट यू गाइज कैन हेयर मे राइट कुछ लोग कह रहे हैं कि वो नहीं आ रहा साउंड नहीं आ रहा साउंड तो आ रहा है भाई साउंड तो चल ही रहा है ना All right. Are you aware? So many questions you guys have. C set and comprehension. I will make. Pakka. I will make videos on C set. So don't worry. Okay. If you don't have Hindu or Indian Express available in your hometown, you can download it online. Online download. करके आप उसको पढ़ सकते हैं. It is available online also. If you are having depression and anxiety, friends, uh, that is one of the big problems that lot of students face. I feel that mental health is one of those things that we really need to address in our society, in our communities, in our families, and as individuals. So I would say that uh, when you were, when see, I will tell you about me. I also used to be very depressed, and I used to feel very. Um, I had a very tough mental challenge when I was in uh, National Defence Academy as a cadet. Uh, so I would say that if you are feeling depressed, if you are feeling hopeless, if you are feeling, if you are having doubts. Um, then the best way to kind of address any kind of those doubts is to take a step back to reevaluate what you are doing to rethink what you are doing to talk to your loved ones that is very important you should communicate communication is one thing that we often don't do and aajkal ki generation ko even my generation gen x uh, i am from uh, i am a millennial and lot of people who are you know gen z and gen a Uh, they don't communicate anymore because they are busy with their mobile phones so i would request all of you to communicate as much as possible with your parents with your loved ones with your siblings with your friends about your anxieties about your fears and talk about it openly because that is one of the best ways to get rid of it okay the second thing is don't worry about the competition don't worry about others what matters is you agar aap achhi tarah se mehnat karoge to transformation aayega एक साल लगेगा डेढ़ साल लगेगा दो साल लगेगा बट द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विल कम माय फ्रेंड्स सो डोंट वरी आई थिंक यू विल यू कैन डू इट ऑल राइट बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस आ रहे हैं ऐसे ऐसे की पूरी सीरीज तैयार हो रही है सो सून इट विल बी शेयर्ड विद यू गाइस बाप रे अभी अभी शरिका सिंह यू आर टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड अरे डोंट वरी इफ यू लाइक मैथ्स टेक मैथ्स वट एवर सी यू पी एस सी वन ऑफ द बैड वर्स्ट थिंग्स अबाउट यू पी एस सी इज दैट नॉट यू पी एस सी एज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन अबाउट द कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट आउट देर इज दैट दे आर मिस गाइडिंग ए लॉट ऑफ पीपल बाई सेंग दैट ओनली ह्यूमैनिटी स्टूडेंट विल डू वेल इन यू पी एस सी दैट इज सच ए बैड मिथ इंजीनियर्स साइंटिस्ट साइंस स्टूडेंट्स डू सो वेल इन यू पी एस सी डॉक्टर्स सो प्लीज इफ यू हैव इंटरेस्ट इन मैथ्स टेक मैथ्स इफ यू हैव इंटरेस्ट इन साइंस फिजिक्स टेक दैट सब्जेक्ट इट विल हेल्प यू Don't worry. It will help you in UPSC. Do well in that subject. Okay. Geography also. Yeah, fresher ho preparation nahi hai. So kya kar loge? Three months mein. What will you do in three months? So don't be unrealistic. Achhi tarah padh ke next year exam lo. ठीक है. Hi everyone. Hi Chandan. Hi Ritik Thakur. Raj Mohan. Indrajit. Thank you guys for coming. All right. I will try to answer as many as questions as possible. Yeah, Saran Shergill has answered uh, asked a quick question that when I am not in flow, I am not uh, when in flow, I am not able to answer five six questions. Then I get panicked. See, the best thing to do when you are when you are not able to answer five six questions in a row is you switch the section completely. Let's say you are answering from question number five to question number ten, or वो solve नहीं हो रहे. Panic मत हो. Question का page पलटो और next page पे आ जाओ. या दो चार page पलटो और 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव पर आ जाओ दैट कंप्लीटली चेंज योर रिदम फ्रॉम इकोनॉमिक्स कम टू पॉलिटी और कम टू सब्जेक्ट यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद If you are comfortable with polity, if you are comfortable with geography, so it's okay. I used to also get lies marks sometimes in my prelim series. Inside, I used to take vision prelim series, and I used to do very badly sometimes. So I used to be surprised. Yeah, I am doing this. Why am I doing this? How will I pass prelims? But with that, there is no difference. If you are doing well in old UPSC papers, you will be fine. Yes, NCERT macroeconomics. I agree. Mahi Singh has asked this question. It is very hard. You can use Nitin Singhania's book. I think that is good. Apart from that, you can study a little bit from uh, Khan Academy also online channel. So I think those are the best sources right now. Uske sivay koi aur itna sources hai nahi to be honest to study macroeconomics. One and a half years of current affairs. You need one and a half years of current affairs. Ethics. You can start from. Uh, I will post my notes on ethics so you can use them to start your ethics preparation. करंट अफेयर्स प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चंस देखो करंट अफेयर्स देखो क्या क्या पूछ रहे हैं और और उसको उस तरह से उसी टॉपिक को पढ़ने की कोशिश करो यस यू कैन लर्न इंग्लिश फॉर यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन विद यूपीएससी प्रिपरेशन व्हाई नॉट ज्योग्राफी ऑप्शनल सोर्सेज अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई डोंट नो गाइज सो आई कैंट रियली रिकमेंड टू यू ऑल राइट कैलकुलेटर कैलकुलेटर इज नॉट अलाउड फॉर सी <laughs> Don't take calculator there. Calculator is not allowed for UPSC except for simple calculator for mains optional. Optional if yours is like a ma management optional or statistics optional, there you can take. PMF IS I don't know, but I think it's a decent source, so you can try it out. But I don't know about it personally. All right. Geography I will soon make uh, video guys. Don't wait. Don't worry. जल्दी आएगी मैं अभी देख रहा हूं अच्छी तरह से कैसे ज्योग्राफी क्योंकि बहुत बड़ा सब्जेक्ट है तो थोड़ा सा अच्छा ही बनाऊंगा एनसीसी सर्टिफिकेशन यस इट विल हेल्प यू इन द इंटरव्यू हिंदी इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यूपीएससी यू शुड जस्ट नो बेसिक हिंदी ओके स्पेक्ट्रम इज ऑल्सो गुड गाइज डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम थिंकिंग स्पेक्ट्रम पढ़नी है बिपिन चंद्रा पढ़नी है पढ़ लो एक उठा के पढ़ो तो सही पहले आई वुड से स्पेक्ट्रम एंड विपिन चंद्रा इधर विच एवर यू लाइक एक पढ़ लो अच्छी तरह उतने में हो जाएगा डोंट वरी एग्रीकल्चर ऑप्शन आई डोंट नो गाइज ऑप्शन के बारे में मैं ज्यादा नहीं बता पाऊंगा माई माई ऑप्शन वॉज मैनेजमेंट आई आर एम एस इंडियन रेलवे मैनेजमेंट सर्विस इज अ ग्रेट सर्विस they have combined the different railway services and created a new indian railway management service which they will hire from upsc i think it's a good service pehle iits wagaira ye sab hota tha they have merged them now and it formed an indian railway management service so i think it's a good service nitin sangania for economics is good guys csat ke bare mein main alag se session lunga acha sa theek hai जॉब कॉलेज पेपर और प्रिपरेशन या टाइम मैनेज करना पड़ेगा आपको डिसिप्लिन 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 ओके आई लाइक योर नेम स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ आई एम ऑल्सो ए स्पिरिचुअल पर्सन सो आई लाइक दैट हाउ टू मेक ए हैबिट ऑफ रीडिंग स्टार्ट विथ टू पेजेज ए डे थ्री पेजेज ए डे देन कम टू फोर पेजेज ए डे देन कम टू टेन पेजेज ए डे लाइक दैट योर हैबिट विच स्टार्ट small small like let's say you are learning how to play cricket but you have never played cricket so how do you learn well you first go and bat for 5 minutes to see how you make a stroke dheere dheere sikhte ho na fir 10 ball batting karoge fir 15 ball batting karoge fir 1 ghanta batting karoge aise dheere dheere aata hai to reading bhi dheere dheere shuru karo do char pages ke sath easy books utha lo koi pick up an easy book maybe i will make a small post on that that how to start reading how to start learning to read and how to form a habit of reading Okay, I will suggest you some books also. My notes are available through my YouTube videos in description or in comments from where you can access my notes. All right, so links are given. My World Atlas was Oxford World Atlas. You can buy that one. All right. So guys, uh, wow, what a fantastic session! Uh, I think lot of you came, lot of you attended. lot of you left also do you guys um, or did you guys like the session today i'm going to end the session soon so did you guys like the session thanks a lot of coming thanks a lot for you guys yearbook is not necessary yaar yearbook is not necessary 
ओके और क्वेश्चंस आप पूछ कर देना मैं पूछ लूंगा थैंक्स ए लॉर्ड फॉर गाइस फॉर कमिंग एंड यू गाइस रियली यू नो ऑल द एस्पिरेंट्स इफ यू गाइस लाइक द सेशन जस्ट से थम्स अप और जस्ट से यस सो दैट आई गेट ए गुड फीडबैक नेक्स्ट सेशन आई विल ट्राई टू कवर मोर थिंग्स यू हैव ए लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बारह सौ लोग सेशन में बैठे हैं तो फिर ऑब्वियसली क्वेश्चन आर देयर बट थैंक्स ए लॉट एंड कीप फॉलोइंग द चैनल यू विल सी ए लॉर्ड ऑफ गुड अपडेट्स ऑन इट Uh, I will provide a lot of lot of advice for you guys directly uh, from someone who has passed the exam. So you will get good ideas about how to clear this exam. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. I'm going to end the session now. Bye bye.